What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we go with cops from around the world react to U.S. policing. I'm very intrigued on this video. Before we jump into it, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so I get suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You know, subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Human, I'll talk back. If you got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or there's a Google form link in the description. What we got? What y'all think? Okay, I'm gonna hit play now. It's the first moment when we can clearly oh. see that Floyd is face down on the ground, with three officers applying pressure to his neck, torso, and legs. That's a murder. Why well, U.S. police kill more civilians than any other police in of any other wealthy country? I, I'm Floyd speechless, if I'm honest. Whoa! We found police officers serving and retired from around the world. And showed them how the U.S. handles it. Yeah, it's absolutely unacceptable. Wow. I'm sorry, man. That's... I was a training required in the United States versus the job for a barber, 1,300 hours. It's 3,500 hours for being a plumber. Jeez. I would hope that police officers are getting a little more than what a barber gets. And maybe towards where the lawyer is. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> 647. And Jeremy nice. White. Six hundred and forty seven. And Jeremy White trained three years. We have practical wow. and theoretical training. In Northern Ireland, we're not just taught the legal side, we're taught how to use and think on our feet as well. And it's those Ooh. skills that make you a better police officer. It also doesn't help that America's policing system is fragmented to the point of farce, with around 18,000 different forces. 18,000. 18,000 sets of rules, policies, regulations, and 18,000 levels of accountability. Jeez. Here in Canada, we have 141. In the UK, we have got 43. In Italy, there's basically only two. We have 17. Wow. I will never complain about that anymore since there is a country that has 18,000. My gosh, that's crazy. 18,000 different sets of rules for, for policing. Wow. That anymore since there is a country that has 18,000. The Warrior Mindset, Kentucky State Police Academy. Gee. The very first essential for success is a perpetually constant and regular employment of violence. Oh, there's the word again, violence. What? I don't like that word. You, who said that? Oh my God, it's Hitler. Hitler. His quote is actually part we, of the slide. There's the no way. There's no way we're using a Hitler quote. There's, there's, there's just no way. There's... Oh my God, it's Hitler. His quote is actually what? part of the slide that they're using. What? Is that right? Yeah. I don't like to say that that name. I, I'm speechless, if I'm honest. There's been certain people that don't like the use of that word warrior with law enforcement. Is our cops or frontline troops in this war? Yeah. And they don't want to use the word warrior? Is he saying that? Police officers are at war with the community. The police officer is there to serve the community. Mm. I have to tell you, I do have a okay. firearm okay. on me. Don't reach for it, man. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. All we see is wow. this scenario going the way that we've been trained that it could go. Guess which of the following images are U.S. soldiers in Iraq and which are police officers in American cities? Okay, all of them are, I think, are soldiers. And I think number two and four are militaries. Oh! <laughs> wow! They're all police. They're all police. Oh, sh For several nights this week, this was Ferguson, Missouri. Tank. Policing is uh, very dangerous work, but police officers are not warriors. 
I police in Northern Ireland have done for 21 years. I still, to this day, have to check under my car for a bomb being underneath my car. And even then, I still do not see myself as a warrior. I'm happy that our police officers have got the sense to be able to talk to members of the public and realize that they're servants of the public and not an occupying force. Mm, I think that's, that's one of the big things. Cause, because there are plenty of great cops. It's just that uh, I feel like a lot of the bad ones don't get held accountable. There's bad people in every profession. There's, I'm not, I'm not the, because you know what I'm saying? If I'm in trouble, I'm going to call a cop. You feel me? But I'm saying there's bad people. In, but I'm saying a lot of bad people in other professions are, are held accountable for their actions. And I feel like a lot of bad police don't. I'm not an occupying force. Protect them kind of thing. Cops accused of stealing over 220000 can't be sued thanks to qualified immunity. What's that? Judges created qualified immunity to protect individual officers from liability. And what it's morphed into is almost absolute immunity for law enforcement officers. It's probably a dream That's comes wild. true for officers that want to break the law. The same law that should apply yeah. to members of the public should apply to the police officers Thank as well. You we have Lord to take the same this. consequences. We have to have the same punishment. If not worse. We have the Special Investigations Unit. We have the Office of the Independent Police Review Directorate. I used to be the Chief of the Police Academy in Georgia, and also I used to be the Chief of Ukrainian National Police. They were both very corrupted, and it was a huge legacy from the Soviet Union. In Georgia, just we disbanded entire traffic police. We fired 15 to 20,000 police oh officers. And in Ukraine, it was the same. Jeez. Reforms in the law enforcement system were so vital that you have accountability in front of the citizens. Oh. Research suggests that black people are about three times more likely to be killed by police than white people. So you agree that there may be systemic racism? They don't agree that there's systemic racism in police. Of course there is. Early in the 90s, in the UK, a young man called Stephen Lawrence was murdered. The government uh, commissioned an investigation. It concluded that there was systemic racism in the police service. The beginning of sol the solution is to acknowledge that it exists. Mm. So he's cuffed Floyd's hands behind his back, and Koenig walks him to the restaurant wall. All right, what's your name? He was quite, quite impassive, right? I mean, he was not aggressive at all. Floyd says he is claustrophobic and refuses to enter the police car. He tells them he can't breathe. I didn't realize that they had got him handcuffed and seat in a seated position. Well, leave him there and find out what his medical problems are. And all four officers are now gathered around Floyd. They had him in the car once. I don't understand why they ripped him out of the car. Why isn't that other officer telling him to get off his neck? One, two, three, big guys. I mean, it's like, of course, it's excessive use of force. The fact that not one of them have actually turned around and said, get off, get off his neck. It, it's almost that arrogance. Chauvin's yeah, that one right there, that, that video was actually like sickening to watch, bro, like that one. Oh, that one just broke it, Get off, get off his neck. It, it's almost that arrogance. Chauvin's kept his knee on Floyd's neck for a total of 8 minutes and 46 seconds. That's a murder. I really do feel sorry for the police officers who were there. Um, want to do a good job. Then doing their job in very difficult circumstances and putting their lives at risk. But there is no rule of law with, uh, with uh, corruption. There is no democracy with corruption. I identify myself with being a cop very much. I, I love my job. And when I see that other people um, wearing the same uniform as I do, killing people, I feel ashamed. It's crazy, man. It, it, it's absolutely wild. Uh, and like I said, there are plenty of good cops. I'm not saying cops in general are bad. There's just ones some need be, to be held accountable. And he's for their act, just like any citizen would be held accountable for certain things. You hold the cops to that same standard, if not higher standard. Uh, but that's all we got for this one. If you guys got a uh, favorite video or anything you want to see or him react to, you can subscribe to Patreon. 
uh, leave a suggestion or in the description section there's a Google form link. Hit the link, fill out your suggestion, send it to me. You want me to get to yours faster than others, fill out premium. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy D. Nia. Out.